Hey, my ladies, you gentlemen, and boys, and girls, and you are you in the This is Coffee Show D minus one, and it's shoot 5:43 a.m. Of course, so I'll be preparing the show for all freaking day and night. And today I gotta bring those suitcases to the show it's actually not only the suitcases i gotta bring this big screen and the stand and, and this cart and this box this box this camera back and the nishiro and there is the ultra grinder and some bucket for like receiving the dirty water from the machine and that's the nug box and also there is another cart, the white one, so I'm gonna bring this too. And this has the wheels at the bottom, so it'll be really easy to move this one. And those two will be sitting in my office. This is my filming place. I'm doing this like, hello, is that baby? You guys and like this, right? And I have to call the delivery guy at about like 2 p.m. 1 to 2 p.m. because it take it usually takes like 1 to 2 hours to get to the excavation center it's called Coex in Samsung Gangnam Gangnam Day and ah oh, the thing is though I gotta pick my banner up it's ready and sitting in the banner making kind of factory so I gotta pick that up when the sun rises, the sun probably rises at 7 a.m. And I gotta work to do so. I gotta like reply the tax support emails. Actually, John told me that my co worker can take my work, which I haven't like replied. It's been like 40 of them in my inbox, email inbox. But I told John not to give my inbox to her because I thought. I thought I could get this done until tonight but apparently I just almost finished finished packing and see you later a few hours later there <laughs> So I've just called the delivery guy. He's coming to my office at 2 p.m. and now it's 8:13. So I don't have enough time to sleep, but I've got some time to sleep. Wow. See you later. <laughs> later that day. So everything is packed now. So um gonna get on the delivery car and get delivered to the coex let's go i'm in the truck yeah the parking lot in gyeonggi gyeonggi-do 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 still gyeonggi-do and highway 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 tunnel, highway, 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 highway tunnel. Ah, tunnel. Ah, tunnel. Ah, highway, highway. And now I'm in Seoul. And the big building there is LG Electronics. Already in Gangnam, so there are a lot of cars. It doesn't matter the time. It was like 3, I don't know, like 2.30 or 2.40 or something, but there are still a lot of cars. Crazy, eh? And I got into the parking lot in Coex. Actually, they are always packed, but because of the coronavirus, not many companies actually participated in the ex exhibition. So it was really easy to get in there. And I had to got off and wrote down my name and phone number and my like body temperature and everything. And it's actually possible to get in there get into the expansion center through the parking lot so when we set the booth up and like we throw everything usually cars get into the exact like location at the booth firstly i gotta pick the batch up Hello, 
감사합니다. 감사합니다. 수고하세요. I just received the name card and the necklace kind of thing. Oh, there we go. And my packages are here. Oh, just two packs of water. Should be easy. Cannot fail a little. So I started to set the booth up. So put the machines and grinders and notebooks and accessories and everything and t-shirts and everything and the banner. I put the banner on the wall and it wasn't easy. It seems like easy because it's like really fast video, but it took quite a long time and quite of like trials. So I just finished the setup. Da -da -da. I'm very nice. So I'll show you one by one. And there's a banner, big one. You can see that, right? That's it. That looks not pretty clear, but you still see the Design Espresso machines. And actually, the machines are here. It's just for showing that this is the Design booth. And there is a booth number and the name of the company, Design Espresso. And here we go. So the machine. This is the version 1.3, white one, a gray right? And I already turned it on to test the electricity and everything. And it's counter sink version. So there is a drainage and there's catering kit back there. And I will use the water from here, here. So I connect this tube in the water. There are paper cups and here are paper cups. And there are my name cards, T. So I'm gonna demo the T as well. There is a Marconi Tanzania from my office. And there's no plate. I forgot where I put this, but it's okay. And here's the knock box. And there is a scale and temper. I'm gonna put it on tomorrow morning. And here is niche zero black on oh, nice and ultra grinder and eh, okay nice and there is knockbox knockbox is counter sunk as well and beans that I'm using tomorrow it's just for tomorrow I bought three kilos and there is big screen actually TV you're pretty much familiar with this screen because I use it when I make video I connect this one to that one so. When I like demo with uh, this machine, people far from here can also see the graph when I'm making shower live stream or something. And this is version 1.4 D1 Pro, so it's shorter than that one. And this is the D1 Cafe prototype, pretty nice, eh? And here is the switch, so if I turn it on the switch should wow that's it and i know john's gonna freak out if i don't take this protector off fun for john oh. Uh, oh. this one for john and there is a you know bin so i'm gonna put this bin on here so this is what they call is drink area kind of thing so people only can drink in this area without this area apparently the cafe show doesn't allow people to drink and eat anything so i see some of the booth don't have the area but i don't know that's their vision is not mine so we have this area so people can drink in this area and this is just for one person that's why i brought big screen with the stand especially and there are the steam features and the thermometer yeah banner doesn't look really good right i think the banner guy did like pretty pretty bad job i actually gave him two photos one photo was kind of like low resolution and the other one was like really big resolution photo but I think he just used it uh, lower one not the bigger one how lazy he is shit anyway there is my camera back I actually leave my back in here because Korea is really safe if you leave your laptop or like smartphone in any cafe nobody just picks up if someone picks up the one 
should bring the phone to the police station because it's been so long and he's been watching it and like the owner didn't come up so he does just or she decide to just bring it to the police station to find the owner that's korea people that's freaking korea so I just believe for young people. And this one is pretty new. This is a leaflet stand. So these are the leaflets that I made. And that's the back side of the leaflet. That's the same thing. There is a temper and a cradle and funnel. I'm gonna put it on here tomorrow morning and use it. And there is scale. I've already changed the battery. I need to buy more battery. So I'm gonna buy some battery tomorrow morning and then put it in. And then just check the water. How nice. See how nice it is. Oh my god. Nice. Anyway, that's pretty much it, guys. Oh, tired. This is Papa Joe D Day. It's the Wednesday. So it's actually quite quiet. It's a little bit busier than I expected though. And here are my machines. It's been working great. And this freaking thing is amazing actually. I've been using this and it was phenomenal. It works better than I expected and people just loved it. So I'll just review it later after the show when I get home and get relaxed and got some visitors. They are almost preparing for their cafe or they do like teach and coffee kind of thing. And there is fill up booth and they are Running there both with our four machines, three new on Excels and one new on Pro, I guess. And they are on fire. And now I know they'll use it to bake. And they are selling beans as well. And their beans will be sold out on Saturday, I think. And they brought a ton, literally, a ton of coffee. Actually, today I'm running my booth solo way. So it's quite hard to take a break and take time to go to Simoik but it's okay because from tomorrow I'm gonna be with my precious users fill out actually one of the fill out members will come here to run the booth together so we can like promote each other and actually some visitors in fill out they are interested in our machines so they just come straight to this booth to get to see demo so it's quite win-win people are asking which cafe use this and as person machine and I can say fill out is using and they're right there so it's quite easy to explain them like our machine is really stable for cafe environment as well and it's like 4 p.m. so it's gonna be done in two hours yeah we'll see you tomorrow so I almost forgot to mention this but I just changed this cart position so this side was front on yeah, but I just turn it like this but this one is still facing the front so I can like demo to the visitors and fill out can provide their coffee to the customers that's pretty much it see you tomorrow second day of the show and it's right before the noon as you can see there are some people around not run here though sadly some people come visit this booth to get some demo and some people are interested in our machine because they are just fantastic they can do everything so you can do settings and if you go so continuously from the last explanation so there is setting then you can set everything there is pre-infusion so our machine just measure the pressure in the basket so it's not like me the other espresso machine they just measure right after the pump so if you press the button like this then it just shows it's nine bar but it's not it's zero bar in the basket so if there is COVID and it has like resistance so there is gonna be pressure the flow rate on here so speed up the water so if you go faster then pre-infusion finishes earlier and there is 
pressure setting so if it fills up and then there is pressure happening and then if the pressure hits 2.6 bar in this case then it just goes to the next stage which is hold step it says ug but it's hold step so it just maintained the flow rate at 2.5 millimeter per second and for like 57 seconds and there is decline step so when you do just shot with like no more machines then you can see the shot comes out faster and faster but if you set the decline step then you can just prevent the fostering flow rate kind of thing at the last of the shot so like this but it's already flow rate setting so it doesn't go faster so i don't want to use this one and this KIL is connected to the tablet via Bluetooth so if you set the weight in here then it automatically stops at the weight and there is temperature so you can control the temperature in 0.5 units and if you tap in the middle then you can see there is the temperature setting in the stages so you can set the different temperature in each stage that kind of thing all right and okay and Niche like this, and there's water filter, it's pretty wet. So, and just wash it and temp it here, and then, uh, 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 there we go. And I'll just make a shot as a profile that I just, uh, just made. Oh, yeah. So it starts immediately like this and there's pre-infusion it's at 3 point something meter per second and now it's full step and if it's too slow I can control the flow rate faster by touching this controller but it's already done something like this Cafe Hill Day 2 is also over everyone has gone already so quiet I think it's a bit busier than yesterday though but it's the thursday anyway so not so many people but tomorrow is friday and the day after is saturday so there are gonna be so many people i guess even though it's corona pandemic most of people decide not to come but yeah still come many people come in seoul anyway Gangnam, the one user from jeju island came to test some roasters because he has planned to buy roaster and actually he's like he's been doing like roasting with like ikawa or something but he just wants to have like bigger roaster to make it like work easier so today i worked with fill out one of the fill out members actually the roaster came to run the booth with me and actually yeah fill out is fill out he did like really good job and I did the same same explanation explanation anyway but this is first time that I have group head controller at like exhibition so I can impress people to like fall into the design espresso machine more especially with the real-time control function and users users came to see me and they even didn't know that it can do real-time control even though they already have the group head controller so yeah they learned something from it and the cheaper filter was amazing today as well and i bought like really cheap tea and i use it that one to like show people with the pressure it can like extract the tea really fast so i did like less than one mini shot every time when i like brew tea with a machine and it was just as strong as the five minutes or ten minutes brew tea it was amazing actually i'm telling you i'm so tired because i'm wearing this kind of shoe 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 and a, in a suit how fancy ah. and this is coffee show day three that's just fast motion because i just did you know the same explanation again and again and again and i run the booth with arbitrium coffee works he brought quite a few different bins such as like Geisha, Jensen Geisha was just amazing, I'm telling you. And like some types of Ethiopians and blendings as well. So it was just like festival, coffee festival, and we. And the uh, visitors really enjoyed that. It's already 5 1 p.m. and they announced the very 
wearing mask thing like once in an hour but it's fine so cafe show day three is also over everything is closed and the lights are going to be off and today was you know pretty busy I had no time to have a break just one to three times just four or five minutes that's it just continuously visitors come to our booth and I show them demo they are all most surprised but most of them are actually have information about our machine but they just wanted to see the actual function about our machine so I just show them and they just are quite amazed actually I can tell and that's it for today and tomorrow is gonna be the last day of the cafe show so I need to go home and get some sleep I actually had some sleep and then wake up in a bit like in two hours so it's uh, right after midnight I just order some food so uh, let me wait for the food when the food comes then I just have the food and then go to sleep and be ready for tomorrow peace the last day before I run the booth with Comflow, Comflow coffee rosters and of course all of the co-workers they are all this NS personal machine users so it's my thing it's our thing that we run our like vision booth with users especially they are running a roster shop they can promote their beans and they can also find their like bean users if the people who try to find beans for their coffee they can contact the user the business person machine user to like purchase beans from them so yeah that's kind of like our thing and i'm gonna do it do it exactly the same way in the next year and and we are having like more and more like users who use our machine in their like world Strike coffee so in the next year probably i can like run with the same users or i can like find the other users who can run the booth with me my job is actually the same if the new visitor come to our booth then i'm just starting with the same explanation and they're gone and the other one comes then i just explain the same thing and they're gone the other one comes then the same day so this is the last day last day of the cafe show this is saturday but it's just as busy as like yesterday it's weekend though but anyway I've been doing the same job again, again, and again, again, and again, and again. Some people are quite like new to our machine, so it was nice to see them and show them demos. So they are really interested in our machine. So it was really good, good and good. So I started to pack up, and the thing is though, usually the exhibitors have like less packages when they go back to their office or home. But for me, there are more, you know, more things to pack. So like this, I packed everything up. I'm doing totally solo this year with 6.30 and the delivery guy is on the way, but the parking lot is packed. But it's not packed, it's jammed actually. So it takes for a while for him to come to take those things up. Overall, it's all really quiet exhibition because of the corona pandemic and hopefully in the next year everything like, becomes fine and you can do like normal, really busy, a really packed, really like a lot of people trade show thing. Alright, ho, 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 ho. everything is packed up. <laughs> So I just got home, I brought everything with the delivery guy to home. <sighs> Thing is though, it's not just done by just putting them back on the cart. I have to clean everything up. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Peace out too.